Hello dear students welcome to home school hope everybody are doing good and today we will try to discuss what is mass and what is weight right so for many of us both may look same but actually there is lot of difference between mass and weight okay you know for a chemist it is same but for a physicist it's very very different okay if you go behind physics lot of difference is there between mass and weight right so let us discuss what is that difference and how that difference had come first let me talk everything about mass mass is about the number of atoms or molecules or compounds with which we are made up of right suppose if i consider this body okay you take your own body the body is made up of many 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 atoms there are lots of chemical compounds within your body so how much amount of atoms or molecules that is there inside your body that is your mass okay see sometimes people can have more mass more mass in the sense they have lot of stuff in their body i mean they have lot of this matter okay so the amount of matter that is present in a body or in a object is called as mass okay so let me write the definition in a simple way so that you can understand it is the amount of matter matter right present present in an object is called as mass so here matter in the sense what it can be atoms molecules or compounds or whatever anything any object in this universe is made up of matter that is atoms molecules elements etc right so this amount uh, that is there in a particular object that is called as mass okay i can also tell it in another way this mass is nothing but it is a measure of inertia okay so how much inertia uh, a particular object has you know so that is what we mean by a mass and remember this mass remains constant okay remains constant in the sense it will not change uh, according to a place remains constant in the sense it will not change it will not change according to okay according to different places different places okay for example for example see i am staying in this country called india okay and my mass is some some number right see when i go to london and take my mass i get the same value okay and mass is always you know uh, measured in grams or kgs grams or kgs suppose if i take this chalk piece it is there in india it is there in my hand you know what if i if i Uh, measure how much amount of atoms or molecules that are present in this chalk paste you know i can i can always uh, you know weigh it and i can measure its mass right suppose this chalk paste has got a mass 2 uh, grams okay if i take this chalk paste in london i get a mass 2 grams when i take this to moon and there if i check the amount of matter present then also its mass is 2 grams okay see the amount of matter present in a object never ever changes right uh, when you move to different locations it remains same so that is all about the mass nothing else now coming to the very very important aspect that is weight right so the weight is nothing but the gravitational pull so this is a gravitational pull experienced experienced by an object by an object you know this is the definition of weight guys so we all know we live on earth right we are pulled by earth earth will pull us towards it 
right it can be a chalk piece it can be me or it can be you or it can be board or whatever it is so when you try to fall it down you know when you try to throw it down you know the earth will attract so that attractive force experienced by a particular object is called as weight so weight is just nothing but gravitational force okay so it is the gravitational pull or the gravitational force gf in the sense gravitational force experienced by an object is what we mean by weight very simple right so now uh, this weight can be changed okay it it can be changed according to locations according to locations isn't it see my weight on earth is different but my weight on moon is different when i go to different planet you know uh, mercury or venus mars or whatever it is my weight will change because gravitational force on earth is one uh, figure and gravitational force on moon is different right so in moon gravitational force is very less whereas in earth gravitational force is very high okay so uh, that is the reason the weight of a human body can be very very less uh, on a moon as compared to earth okay so all that we'll discuss little later so uh, remember that mass can never be changed according to a locations whereas weight can be changed uh, you know according to location okay fine and now you know what to calculate weight we have a formula right so in the previous chapter you have studied f is equal to ma f is a force m is a mass and a is acceleration right so now the same formula i'll write it in a different way so here force i consider it as a gravitational force okay so this gravitational force itself is nothing but weight right so weight that is w is equal to mass and this a is nothing but acceleration to gravity i will consider that is g and you know what g remains constant okay so as long as you stay in a particular area particular location you know as long as you stay in india you know uh, or you know some part of a world you know the g value almost remains constant right so uh, when g remains constant what happens your weight will become directly proportional to mass okay so when g is constant guys so g is constant uh, in a particular place or in a particular location okay there can be a slight changes in g as you go from one region to another region on earth itself but anyway let me consider this g is constant on earth okay if you consider this is constant then our weight will be directly proportional to mass okay so this is the slightest difference uh, it's not a slight difference it's a huge difference right between mass and weight so mass is just the amount of matter with which it is made up of and weight is nothing but that gravitational force that a object experiences so that gravitational force itself we are calling it as weight okay so now weight weight is nothing but a force no so the unit of weight weight has got a unit unit of weight capital w in the sense weight so unit of weight is newton guys okay and unit of mass is what grams or kgs uh, but weight can be measured always in newtons okay fine so now let me tell you uh, the object okay differs uh, in weight as it is there in different locations isn't it see uh, let us discuss about weight of an object weight of an object on moon guys okay so weight of an object on moon is very less very less as compared to as compared to weight of object on earth weight of object on earth so this is one very very interesting and important point so because in earth gravitational force is very much high whereas on moon right so uh, on moon gravitational force is very less very very less okay so you know what the gravitational force of moon 
is just one sixth of gravitational force of earth okay see here gravitational force of moon okay gravitational force on moon let us suppose write it this way is one sixth it is one sixth of gravitational force on earth okay so remember this formula whenever you want to find out weight of weight of object on moon okay on moon then you know the formula is weight of problems can be asked on that very very important weight of object on earth on earth divided by 6 I'll show you one simple example here suppose uh, the weight of an object of an object on earth on earth let me take 60 newton i'm asking you weight of an object on moon moon is question mark what you should just do weight of an object on moon is equal to weight of an object on earth that is 60 divided by 6 so that means 6 ones are 6 tens are so your answer is 6 uh, sorry 10 newton right so that means if you have a weight of around 60 on earth then on moon your weight is actually going to be 10 see how less our weight is on the moon so why do we experience less weight on a moon because moon has got very very less gravitational force as compared to earth so on moon the gravitational force is just one sixth part of the gravitational force on earth okay so questions can be asked this way let me uh, solve uh, one ncrt question that is there in your textbook see let me give uh, they had given weight of some object weight sorry uh, they had given mass not even weight so they gave you mass of object is equal to 10 kg what they are asking you is weight okay you have to calculate weight of object okay on earth on earth okay and you should also calculate weight of object on moon right so two questions so both the questions we have to solve first let us solve this question weight of object on earth mass is given so what is the relationship between mass and weight we have seen a formula w is equal to mg where m is equal to mass g is acceleration due to gravity so how much is the mass they gave you 10 acceleration due to gravity on earth we will take it 9.8 so you will get the answer 98 newton so weight on earth is how much so this is the weight that you got if an object is present on earth so now let us calculate the second one weight on moon we are calculating okay so how do you calculate weight on moon is equal to weight on earth divided by 6 right so weight on earth how much you got 98 98 divided by 6 6 ones are you know 6 ones are 6 3 over here so that means 16 so you'll get your answer approximately 16 newton okay so the weight on earth is 98 newton the weight on moon is approximately 60 newton so in this pattern the questions can be asked in your final examination so be careful one such question is also there in exercise part so find it out and solve it very very easy that's all is a video on mass and weight hope you got to know the difference between mass and weight in the next video we will learn the difference between thrust and pressure okay so both are very important words where you need to clearly understand what is the difference see you in the next video